It's official, but how am I doing it? What about my clients? How are we even funding this? Am I traveling with like just a backpack? Those are all the questions that have been rolling through my mind. So no, I'm not traveling with just a backpack because that's not the only way to be a nomad. So no backpacks, no hostels, none of that crazy stuff, at least for now. We're doing it a little bit differently because of course we're still working. For now, we've packed up our stuff in Sarasota. We already spent one month in Colombia and right now we're in beautiful, Seattle. We're currently taking a ferry over to another island, so here we go. And now at the end of the week, we're getting ready to head to a whole new continent. And at every place, we've continued the same exact schedule we were doing in Sarasota. Wake up, work out, work until three, and then basically head out to explore. Now for the real stuff. How are we actually funding it? Well, we're still working. So thanks to that, we're still making money and that's how we are actually funding the travels. I shared my seven income streams in this video right here, so go check it out. Now, if you watch the video, you know that specifically I shared that we have our agency. That's our first income stream. Those agency clients are still going, which is why every quarter we are traveling back to those clients to do the on-site content creation. So yesterday's trip to the island kind of just ended there because there was nothing on the island. But today we're at this beautiful fall and you can just walk down to these rocks and it looks absolutely amazing. But continuing on. So there's like a couple of things that, you know, just pop up. Like what about our car, like the locations, all those little details that I don't think people share. I'm going to share them all because if you're anything like me, you've always wondered that about other people. So here's the DL. Our car is in South Florida. It's parked there. Our stuff, like I mentioned, are in a storage. So we have that there. A lot of the stuff we did sell, however. And there's of course things that we've learned along the way. So there's like a huge thing with travel insurance. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't know, nobody really talks about that, but you need travel insurance. So we have travel insurance. I still kept my USA insurance because I am still going back, like little tiny details. And like I had mentioned before, we're not traveling with a backpack. I'm traveling with one suitcase, so is Gabe. And in there, that was probably the hardest thing so far about this whole journey is like, we don't know how long we're traveling for. So how do you even pack for that? And we were coming to Seattle, clearly cold, but our next destination is far from cold. So it's like you have to mix all types of climates in one suitcase. Obviously it can't be overweight. So that was super, super interesting. And then in terms of like equipment, I'm traveling with this camera that I'm using right now. Of course, a handy dandy tripod, my road mic, which I use on everything, laptop, and then just little accessories. But for equipment, that's pretty much it. In these cases where we, for example, don't have a car, Seattle has been super cool because it has these cool gig cars where you basically scan and find when it's near you. You'll scan it and you'll go. That has allowed us to be able to explore all all these super cool places outside of the city. It was a bit of a drive, but we are here. This is one of the first viewpoints. And as of now, we're just gonna go trip by trip. Right now, we are currently at Mount Rainier. We drove, it was like a three hour drive from the falls we were at. We made it, we're gonna see if we can go a little bit higher up. I'll show you what it looks like, but that's pretty much it. This is something that I have always dreamt about. So it's literally a pinch me moment. And I know I had a ton of questions of how people were doing it. So hopefully I can answer them for you. And of course, if there's anything that I didn't answer, just ask me below. And you know the drill. I'll see you right back here on this same channel next week.